Do you know what does the Bible say? Yes, caller, you know what does the Bible say? Uh, yes, Johnny, I called last week and promised that I would call back this week. All right, you called early. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Um, I wanted to call tonight, and last week when I called, um, I think I was a little defensive or a little aggressive. I remember right. that night you made a couple of comments about uh, Freedom Baptist, uh, Pastor Tim Whitehart, who's a dear friend of mine. Okay. And has proven himself a friend. And I think last week when I called that uh, I definitely had the wrong spirit. The Bible says follow after those things which make for peace. And um, I think I called just a little on the defensive already. And um, I just wanted to call and be apologetic for that and ask that God would give me the right heart uh, when I deal with his people. Okay, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, uh, now, now, sir, I don't necessarily know that that was the case. I don't particularly remember how your call went, but I do know that, you know, the Bible says in Matthew 5, again, that blessed are the peacemakers, but he, re he immediately goes into the fact that we're going to be persecuted for the word, so it's okay to be defensive, and I sure do appreciate your attitude tonight. There's nobody that can say your attitude's not good tonight, and I'm always trying to demonstrate a good attitude, but, sir, I, pl I believe that I'm most of the time pretty aggressive. Yeah, you just have to be careful about that, you know, because uh, the Bible says, by this shall all men know that you're my disciples, if you have love for the brethren. And um, I just feel that it's not for us to determine who would be considered our brethren. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no, sir. I, I can't believe that you would affirm that. You mean that we cannot determine who's saved today? Um, I don't believe so because the Bible Sir. says man looketh on the outward appearance, but God looketh on the heart. Sir, and how the could you... The Bible also says with the heart man believeth under righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made. But, but, but salvation... I can issue. tell, sir. I, I can do believe affects the outside, then I can't determine that. Yes, sir. By their fruits, you can determine whether a person is saved by what you've been obedient to. What if you've obeyed false doctrine? Jehovah's Witness, do you think they're saved by obeying their false doctrine? Uh, absolutely not. Because uh, 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 you just they believe, contradicted believe yourself. Christ, they don't believe that Christ is God. And Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Okay. The Father one. Okay, well, now, let me, I, let, let me ask this question. So you're saying that if you get off to a certain degree, you would determine that a person is not saved? No, I'm saying if someone doesn't follow the biblical teaching of salvation. Okay, now, sir, I think you don't follow that. Now, you've said it about the Jehovah's Witness, and that doesn't make you unloving, does it? Um, well, last week, I, the, only, the only reason I would have difficulty with what you're saying now mm -hmm. is last week when I called, you asked me if I were judging your motives. No, and, and that's because you said I was actually, uh, you made some references to my character. Right. Well, okay. you, were, you were being really aggressive. I'm always aggressive, sir. Right. Philippians 1.14, uh, the Apostle Paul said, I am set for the defense of the gospel. Sir, I am very aggressive well, against uh, things that I think are false. Well, let me ask you a question. Okay. If we're supposed to be like Jesus, Jesus the Bible was, says he was led as a lamb. Sir, that's one verse. Jesus. That he opened not his mouth. Well, sir, no, several verses. Sir, uh, Jesus wove a whip. Jesus wove a whip and said, You will not make my father's house a den of thieves. Jesus that, was Jesus that, was a multifaceted individual. Right, but that's one text also. Okay. Uh, so which one are we going to use? How about we use both of them? No, how about we how about we use the majority of that? Jesus then fulfilled the scripture, be angry and sin not. Now, sir, have I sinned by telling you that you're wrong? You told me that the Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong. No, if you're, because they're not my brothers and sisters in Christ. You're not my brother or sister in Christ. If you're aggressive with those who are a part of the family of God. Sir, you're not a part of the family of God. You're not in the church of Christ. You're in the Baptist church. That's not the family of God. If it is, prove it tonight. Hey, I'm not a part of the family of God. That's right. Because of the denomination of my church, I'm a part of the family of God because I have confessed my sins and been accepted in Christ. And the Bible says... No, sir. Look here. Look here. Hold, hold on. One second. Let me just... No, no. We're not going to let you talk over the Scripture, sir. You haven't given the Scripture. Says, the Bible Here's says scripture. that many as received him... No, it doesn't. ...to them gave he the power to become, become the sons of God. He gave them the power to become. You're not one when you're becoming, sir. you still got to become. Here's how you become. They that gladly received his word were baptized. Look at this. They were added to the church. And who's in the church? The saved. Sir, if you're not in the church of Christ, Jesus' book says you're not saved. Now, you can well, talk all night about the Baptist church, but you will never give us the scripture for it. I am in Christ. Church. No, you're not. Are you I, in the church I'm of Christ? Not in your church. Sir, are you in the church? 
Absolutely, 100%. The bride of Christ. And what church are you in? The robe of righteousness already just. What church are you in? So that I can be with him for eternity. No, what church are you in? I pastor a church. You're in the Baptist church. Go ahead and say it. Don't be ashamed. Oh, hey, listen, I am absolutely not ashamed. Well, tell it. What church are you in? I'm in the Baptist church. Thank you. Now, question. Is the Baptist church in the Bible? Absolutely. Where is it? I just quoted it for you. No, you didn't. To them gave you the power to No, sir. Even them to believe in Says nothing about the Baptist church, yes. sir. And says nothing about the Baptist church. Matter of fact, Jesus didn't think enough of the Baptist church to mention it. Did he? Here's where we're different. True or false, sir? Jesus didn't mention, didn't care enough about the Baptist church to mention it in his word. Be honest with the community, did he? I don't think he cared enough to mention your church. I don't have a church, but he mentioned the Church of Christ, and sir, that's the only one I would be willing to accept. Well, see, see, here's our difference. No, our difference is just like you with the Jehovah's Witness. No, see, they have departed to a certain degree, and you consider them not your brother. I think you've departed to a degree, and you're not my brother. Well, see, Johnny, here's the difficulty. You want to give me an opportunity to speak. Okay, go ahead. Here's the difference. You follow the teaching of the Catholic Church in that salvation is in the church. I believe that salvation is in Jesus. What does this say? There, there, Sir, no. you haven't given your scripture. That's why I won't let you talk. You think our community wants to hear your Bible? You're just saying stuff. Look at the scripture here. That's why I'm not letting you talk. You said that I'm in the Catholic Church. I believe that, that uh, salvation is in the church. What does this say? D uh, he added to the church daily such as should be saved. Where are the saved, sir? In the church in the New Testament or in the Baptist church? They were in Christ's church. I that's right. Now, is Christ's church the Baptist church? And if you say yes, you've got to give the scripture because the Bible says if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God, 1 Peter 4.11. You either do that or you hang up. Well, see, here's the difference. No, 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 no. You either do that tonight, sir, or you're not a faithful preacher. You're just going on telling us John 1.12 says the Baptist church. Do we look like children? There's no Baptist church in John 1 verse 12. That's an out-and-out -out lie, sir. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. I'd laugh, too, if I didn't have a scripture. How about you give a scripture? Now, yes, sir, I'm being aggressive because I think you are a false teacher, just like you said about Jehovah's Witness. They teach there is no hell, and you teach you can't go to hell. True or false? Once saved, always saved. That's your doctrine, isn't it? No, I believe you can go to hell. Oh, no, you believe, don't. Believe, if you are a Christian, I, sir, be honest I, now. Don't beat around the bush. If you're a Christian, do you believe you can fall? If I am really saved? Yes. Absolutely not. All right, thank you. You believe the people in the Baptist church can't go to hell, and the Mormons, I mean, the Jehovah's Witnesses say there is no hell. I think you're just as bad as they are. No, listen, I do believe people in the Baptist church not to save people. hell. Not to save people. Sir, don't try to mince your words. We all know what you're saying. We've had Johnny Bullins get on here, or Kenneth Johnson get on here and say, you can commit fornication if you're saved, be killed before you repent and still go to heaven. Do you believe that too? Well, see, number one, I don't even know who those men are. Doesn't matter. What about the doctrine? He's a Baptist. Can, you, can you commit fornication, die before you have a chance to repent, and still go to heaven? True or false? Well, I believe the Bible that... True or false, sir. Just get out of it. Go ahead and get out of it one way or the other. True or false? Well, no, see, you won't give me an opportunity. I'm not trying to debate you. The Bible's already written. The Bible is written, and your, book, your church is not in it, and neither is one saved, always saved. That's why I'm asking you these very critical... But, now, sir, are you going to actually... You're going to go on record here tonight. This is taped. You're going to go on record refusing to answer what Kenneth Johnson was willing to answer as a Baptist. Can you commit fornication and then be killed without having a chance to repent and still go to heaven? True or false? Well, let me quote a scripture since your program is... What All right, go ahead. The Bible says, He that is born of God sinneth not. Okay, so now you're saying y'all don't sin over at the Baptist church. No, I did not say well, that. Well, what did you quote that scripture for? Because it didn't have anything to do with the question I asked you. It, yes, it does. It well, here's the question. Let's see if the community can figure it out. The All question right. is, can you commit fornication and then be killed before you get a chance to repent and still go to heaven? Now, what did that scripture have to do with you answering true or false? If I'm saved, why do I want to commit fornication? I didn't ask you that, sir. I don't know why Baptists commit fornication, but I know they do. Are you, are you saying people in the Church of Christ? Sir, are you trying to change the subject so you can get out of your dilemma? You have still got to answer the question. Now, the community's waiting on you. They know you're in trouble. It's either Hello? true or false. You're not going to answer, are you? 
Listen, I'm not in trouble. Here's You're not going to answer, are you? You know what? In Jesus' day, when he asked them critical questions in Matthew chapter 22, they didn't answer him either. You know why? Because it's called the horns of a dilemma. You're in trouble. If you answer yes, you're going to go against your own doctrine because you will have to admit that you'd be lost if you committed fornication and didn't repent. If you answer no, then you're going to have the community know what you really teach. You can't go to heaven if you are truly a Baptist. I mean, you can't go to hell if you're truly a Baptist. Now, get yourself out of it one way or the other, sir. Okay, I will get myself out All of right. it. All right, yes or no? You ask a lot of questions, I want to ask you a question. All, All right, you... wait just a minute. I'm not going to answer yours. Jesus in Matthew 22 would not answer until they answered his. So I'm going to be just like Jesus here. You answer my question or you can hang up. Will you answer my question if I answer I will if you answer that question. True or false, if you are a Baptist and you commit fornication and you die before you repent, are you still going to heaven? True or false? I've never known a Baptist who... Uh, 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 that won't do, sir. Yes or no? I'm, I did answer yes or no. no I've never known a Baptist who was really born of God to commit fornication. All right. I'm thankful that you said it that way. Now, friends, all of you in, in, uh, in Reedsville, I ne there has never been a true Baptist who committed fornication. No, I said who was born of God. Oh, well, is that a true Baptist then, born of God? Was that a false Baptist? Born of God would be all those who know Christ as Savior. All right, so you're saying that there's never been a person who was born of God who committed fornication. Sir, we just got you right there. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, a brother who commits fornication. 1 Corinthians 5.11, let's all turn there. We got you right there. Now, Paul says he's a brother, and you say he's not, but we're listening to Paul. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11, But now I've written to you not to keep company. If a man that is called a brother be a fornicator. Now, he's a brother and he's a fornicator. You just said you never knew a Baptist or a true believer, whatever you want to call it, to commit a fornication. Well, Paul knew one, and I know one too, and you're not a brother anyway. Well, you know what I love? The fact that uh, you pull one verse from that, that. Sir, I've been using several verses. You're the one who haven't given us a verse except John 1.12, and you tried to lie to the community and say the Baptist church was in that one. Johnny. Sir. Oh, there's no way you can play people for fools. You I know what, sir? Everybody sees you. I've been quoting scripture. After no, you haven't. But if they're listening to your doctrine, they're already confused. John, John 1, 12 and 1 John 5 is the only scripture that you've quoted. No, I, sir, I have quoted several more. All right, tell them to me. I want to ask you a question. No, sir, you've never answered that other question. Now, I said I wasn't going to answer your question until you answered me. Can you, and don't give me that double talk, because we've already proved that Paul says a brother can uh, commit fornication. John, can you, can you commit fornication and die before you get a chance to repent and still go to heaven? True or false? You know what is true or false? You you totally dominate the conversation so that no one will ever Sir, hear anything other than what you... We would move on and you could have the floor if you just answer a question. No, I don't we all know why you won't. I told you that I really believe anyone who is sincerely born of God will not commit fornication. And I've told you that Paul says you're wrong. 1 Corinthians 5.11. What do you say about that since you won't answer the question? Well, if any man is called a brother, commit fornication. He called him a brother. He committed fornication. We withdraw from him in the Church of Christ. Y'all deny it in the Baptist Church. Well, um, and, no. and and just for for uh, for everybody else too, John one twelve, no Baptist Church in there, friends. Well, let me ask you a question. Very no, no, you don't get to answer ask a question, sir, until you answer yours. And that's being like Jesus, so don't say I'm being domineering. Matthew chapter 22, Jesus said, if you'll answer mine, I'll answer yours. Now, you're not going to answer, and the community knows why. You're in trouble. Let me ask you, Jesus. No, sir, you don't get to answer a question. Don't you remember? We've got two minutes, sir. You've been dominating the whole program tonight, and it's all because you won't answer a simple question that's going to kill you. How, how, how have I not answered it? Please describe it. All right, true or false? Can you commit fornication and, and die before you repent and still go to heaven? I believe if you are in Christ, there is no way you will ever die and go to hell. Okay, you're just like the Jehovah's Witness. They don't believe there is a hell. You don't believe you can go there. Oh, no, I do believe you can no, go there. No, you that. can't. If you're a true believer, you don't believe you can. See, once all saved, always saved. Now, Kenneth Johnson was honest enough to say if he committed fornication and a car hit him before he had a chance to repent, he would go to heaven. Now, sir, you believe that too, but you won't say it. But you won't say no either, so we got you. No, 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 you don't have me. Christ has me. But see, you, you put, you're putting words in my mouth. I didn't put words in your mouth. You won't answer the question, so really we're at liberty to wonder what you really believe. So, so, so you're saying, Johnny, if there's one thing I know about you, while you may be confused, you're not an ignorant person. I'm sure not. I'm smart enough to catch you. 1 Corinthians 5.11, Paul said a brother can commit fornication. True or false? How about that question?
Paul said, listen to it again, but now I've written unto you not to keep company. With whom, Paul? If a man is called a brother, be a fornicator? What does the verse after that say? I don't have my Bible. For what do I have to do to judge them that are without? Do not judge them that, that we judge them that are within. He's talking about people who are within the church. He says, you don't have to withdraw from all the fornicators of the world. We're talking about the fornicators that are in the church. But in the Baptist church, we don't have any fornicators. So I guess that's not the church of Christ that you read about in the New Testament. We're proving that again, another way. Hmm. Well, I just minute, I'd like to pose you one question. Are you one minute, you don't get to answer a question, sir. I'm being like Jesus tonight, Matthew 22. Unless you answer my question, you do not get to answer, ask a question. Because your question is going to kill you. And, and you know it. I've, I've answered it twice. No, you haven't. True or false? If you commit fornication and you do not have a chance to repent, will you still go to heaven if you're killed? Don't tell me that a brother can't commit fornication. We got you, 1 Corinthians 5.11. A brother can. I said a moment ago, if you are in Christ, there is no way. The Lord said no man can pluck them out sir, of our hands. Are you saying? Sir, are the Corinthians in Christ? Let's try to settle it another way. Are the Corinthians in Christ? 1 Corinthians 12.13. Uh, 12, For by one spirit you have been baptized into Christ. They have been baptized into the body of Christ. They're in Christ. And Paul calls one of them a fornicator. Now, sir, this is the church of Christ, and it doesn't sound like the Baptist church. Hmm. All right, Johnny. Thank you. Listen. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to say something, and I really mean this. Okay, I expect that you meant everything you said tonight, surely. I'm, I'm going to be praying for you. I appreciate that. I believe someone who has the spirit of aggression that you have, you're, you're in real need of prayer. What about the Bible? You know, what the Bible says. The Bible says we wrestle not. Sir. Flesh and blood. We got to go. They just gave me the wrap-up. You've been 20 minutes, and you had a chance to answer your question, and you didn't, and that's why you're going on with all this stuff. Let us go peacefully. We got oh, here, to go. Here's, here's what I'm saying. got to go, sir. I'm going to have to put you on hold. I've been given the wrap-up sign. You I got to, to go. Now, friends, I hate to put him on hold, but they're giving me the wrap-up sign. Look at your clock. We're out of time. The gentleman had 20 minutes to answer one simple question, and he wouldn't do it. We're simply hoping and praying that you saw what the Bible says. A brother can be a fornicator, but in the Baptist church, you can't be a brother and fornicator because no, no real brother ever committed fornication. But anyway...